Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Flo, and I am a dream interpreter, a psychic, a, um, a light worker, an empath, an energy healer. I do, I'm really good at dream interpretations. I'm also a psychic dreamer. I dream my, um, I dream things that are going to happen. Um, this video is going to be a general reading for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, I um I'm going to tap into a lot of energies like so wherever you're if you're watching this and it resonates with you then you were guided divinely into this into this reading so welcome and I'm glad you're here uh, my name is Florina like I said my links are at the bottom if you want a free reading you can hit me up on my Instagram and just ask for a free reading and I will put down the prices and everything and I'll, I'll let you know I'll hit you up with all that um information but um like I said I don't just read the cards I'm a very highly intuitive um, reader, I read what I feel. I hear messages. I see um, little symbols or something. Or I'll see something and tells me what to say. So if you're watching this and somebody wanted you to see this, and you were divinely guided by the spirit, and I highly suggest that if you want your readings to like be personal to you the night before meditate, and especially if you watch one reader all the time, you ask for spirit to guide you through their tarot readings. So what I do is because obviously I can't read my own tarot. So what I do is the night before, if I meditate for like 20 minutes, I'll ask spirit to please um, let me know the answers that I ask, the questions that I ask, let, if they could let me know some of the answers in, in the tarot. Because sometimes when I have dreams or you have dreams, it's hard to interpret them unless somebody's a dream interpreter. And I am. So if you ever need help with that, I also do that. Um, so like I said, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel because... All the support I can get is great. Donations are great and all that stuff. It's highly appreciated because it helps me keep my channel going. I usually don't don't like to charge for these readings at all. I usually only charge for private readings. So and I do a lot of lives for free as well. I donate a lot of my time because I'm I'm really all about the healing and not about the money. So I'm not these other readers on YouTube charging an arm and a leg for you to get some freaking five minute advice. Like nah, bitch, you wallin'. Anyway, so um, this energy is for my Cancer Scorpio. Pisces, oh, oh, let me just, oh. good, kind, light, energies, loving spirits, souls of good, loving, kind energy that wants to heal as badly as I do, please come into this reading and let us know what Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces needs to know the, the most and, you know, give them some good some good advice i'm not i'm not i don't want lies in my cards i will not accept negative energy and i thank you for your service thank you thank you for helping me and, and thank you for helping me help others i appreciate you thank you spirit cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces, pisces okay let's get into this okay behind you Above you, below you, in front of you, present moment. I heard the word kids for some reason, I don't know why. Kids. Oh, the tower, as soon as I said that. Okay, we got the tower, right? We got the fool, kids, fresh energy, could be like a fresh, young energy. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Five of Swords, sorry, the Five of Swords is below you. And the High Priestess. Okay, so somebody here, it could have to do with kids, family, house, foundation, um, maybe something um, is. <sighs> could it be that? I see Taurus energy here. Taurus energy for you Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Um, I feel like somebody is the queen of the house. Like she's the, or he is the king or the queen of the house. I see initials B and J. Um, there could be somebody linked with the B and J um, name, first name, last name, uh, Taurus energy here it doesn't have to be a Taurus, but um, somebody who's uh, who's uh, highly intuitive, 
So that could be you who's highly intuitive because you're here reading, watching this reading. So you might be highly intuitive and you probably know what's going on. This, yeah, you're, yeah. So you are the empress, you're the high priestess, you're in control, you're in your power. And something um, is going on with the home, the family life. Like maybe um, there's a separation, maybe there's kids involved, maybe your husband or, and you or your wife and you are, oh, look at that. So we got the um, Queen of Swords. Okay. Let me just clarify some things. The Queen of Swords. We got the Four of Swords. Okay. So far, what I'm seeing here is... Okay. So far, what I'm seeing is somebody here. Somebody here is like a queen, an empress. Like, they're in control of the situation. They're... Highly intuitive, they're abundant, they got everything they need. However, there's something missing. They're not resting. Somebody here is not resting. You know, you're not getting enough rest. You're um, overworking yourself. Something's going on in the home. There's a lot of confusion. Like you're leaving, you're trying, you want to leave some things behind, but it's hard. Maybe there's children involved because I heard kids. Um, the Empress is always about pregnancy and children and, and abundance and all that and money but um, I'm seeing somebody's like acting like a fool somebody's acting a fool over here like you you over here being the empress you're trying to take control of everything the emperor you're like you're controlling that this is this is crazy because kind of like um the energy I'm getting with a lot of people right now is they're just fed up so like this is what the energy I'm getting with 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 someone whoever this is resonating with I'm getting like a fed up energy. Something is not right in the home. Something's not right in the home. Clarify the tower. Something's not right in the home. Somebody's somebody's not not putting in work or something. Oh. It's a lot of cards, but you know what? I'll take the top one. Oh, somebody, yeah. Somebody is um Either you're making everything happen because you're the magician, like you're making everything happen. You're making sure everybody's taking care of the foods on the table. Everybody's living right and you're not getting no rest. You're not getting no help. Somebody's like freaking, yeah, somebody's the knight of swords. Like he was or she was the knight of swords, always coming in to help you. But now they're just not, they're not like, I, that's what I'm feeling for some reason. Whoever this is resonating with, I'm feeling like somebody feels underappreciated and i'm getting a lot of energies like that right now with the un underappreciated like fed up like the queen of swords like if you come at me with this bullshit again like look i even that i even got tossed out of my head. if you come at me with this bullshit energy anymore i'm honestly like i'm not putting up with this shit no more like you're not about to sit here and have me doing all the work you're not doing nothing you're not putting in no work i'm so sick of this shit like i want to leave but it's hard because i have so much going on in the house i can't leave because there's a lease there's a mortgage there's kids there's a divorce settle whatever it is there's something holding you back from that and you just want to you want to you want to get out you want to see the world you want to do things different like this person's boring you they're just sitting there they're not helping you excuse me I'm, ooh, yeah the fighting energy like a kind of like a angry fighting like irritated energy um, you want to release these burdens. Um, you're, you're like trying to, to release these burdens. You want to like be free of this and it's, you can't for some reason because there's something, some, is somebody in a third party situation? Is there somebody with another person and you or you with another person and them? Or could it just be that all of this in order for you to move on, all of this in order for you to move on. And stop having these sleepless, worry nights. It's going to cause some heartbreak. It's going to cause heartbreak. It's going to cause a tower moment where everything's just going to collapse. But the tower moment could be good because it could mean that you're, you know, this is what you need to go through in order for you to get to the next phase. You know, like I, I really don't know who this resonated, resonates with, but I'm hearing like somebody's going through it right now in their house. 
Yeah, there needs to be communication. There needs to be teamwork. The Three of Cups, I mean, the Three of Pentacles, excuse me. There needs to be teamwork. There's not teamwork. It's like you're doing all, everything yourself. You're putting in all the work. Somebody's not. It could be a, at a job for those of you who are not in a relationship. And it could be if you're single, it could be that you need to go through the tower moment. You just went through heartbreak. You've been having sleepless nights. You need to get some rest. You're not resting. You're not giving yourself the care that you need, the empress. And you're not using your intuition with the high priestess. You're not in using your intuition. You're not listening to yourself. Like you're not sitting with self and you're not, you're the magician. You've got all the tools you need inside of you. You can, you can really figure this out by yourself. You got the tools. You got the weapon. You ain't going to let nobody fuck with you no more, but you're just... You're afraid of the heartbreak. You're afraid of something. Something's holding you back. You're not able to... You're not getting... There's no teamwork. It's just like there's no communication. There's... You're burdened. You just, you just want to get the fuck out. Like, you want to go. You want to see the world. You want to be free. You want to just run around butt-ass naked and have fun. <laughs> you're trying to look... Ooh, I just saw the devil. Yeah, somebody is trapped. Transformation. Okay. Everything I just said, like, I, I'm not changing a word I just said because I see the death card here. The death card is always transformation. So it looks like everything that you're going through, you, some some people who are single might have been through a heartbreak. You might have been through all this tower moment and all that. But now you're the magician. You're the empress. You're trying to, like, move forward. You're trying to see the world. You're ready to take on some new shit. Like, you're tired of the bullshit. You're not going to let nobody fuck with you no more. You're going through the truth. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're... Working hard on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I love that. You're working hard on yourself. Yeah, they, the um, yeah, you're working hard on yourself. Yeah, you're working hard, hard towards something like, and then whoever is in a relationship, you're working very hard, but this person's not putting anything in, and you're just having sleepless nights. They're completely like out of balance. Like they're not even. They're not even there with you. They're, this is them. Like, I don't know. What do you want me to do about it? Like, but you know, if you're single and all that, that's you. You need to get out of this confusion and this, this bound energy where you're stuck. Like, you have to let go. Like, I feel like. I feel like there's some secrets that need to be revealed. There's something that needs to come out in order for you to get to this point of like freedom and like to go out, see the world, enjoy yourself, be the empress that you are, um, you know, uh, hold your power, be able to manifest things, you know, but you're not using your intuition. You got to follow your intuition. Your intuition has been trying to tell you something. You're ignoring it. You got to get some rest. You got to sit with yourself. You gotta sit with yourself. Yeah, like you you're not you're not allowing you gotta quietly gather information. Cause I've seen the page page a lot. It looks like somebody's gotta quietly gather information to to get to know the truth here. Something's being hidden from you with the moon card and this person is like the magician, something's being hidden from you. They could be a third party heartbreak, but it's causing you to have sleepless nights or them. This could be reversed, whoever it is. Yeah, um, yeah. Somebody's been feeling like they've been stabbed in the back, but Ten of Swords is also a completion. So I'm I think that this could also be a completion. Maybe spirit <clears throat> what what is is someone keeping secrets from this person? Uh let the oh yeah, you need to go within, sweetie. This is Virgo energy. Um, we we got Virgo energy here. We also got air energy, um, uh, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We got Taurus energy here. Um, we have... Uh, oh... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we have Virgo energy. We have Scorpio energy. There's Scorpio here. Could be a, a Aquarius, Libra, Gem Gemini. We got pretty much all the signs here. So it could be any sign, but um, you, I'm not seeing this, this as signs. I'm seeing this as specific for someone that if you don't go within, 
you're not going to find out, find the answers to what you're looking for to stop feeling so deceived and like left out in the cold and like working so hard and like nobody's working with you. You feel bound. You feel trapped. You feel like you just, oh, you just want to let go. Like you're so sick of it. You want to just go. Like you want to see the world. You're ready to move on. You've been working hard, man. Like this tower moment has to happen or it has happened already and this is the energy that you're getting to but it's telling you to, to do everything with patience and temperance is like to me a card of like i know what's going on and i'm trying to fill my cup but i gotta do this with patience like an angel angelic energy don't be don't come at it like oh, everybody fuck you like don't do that you want to like take your time you want to like you know what i mean get to know what's going on oh, get to after you do all that, you'll have your ace of pentacles, baby. You'll you'll either get an offer or you'll make an offer or somebody happiness will come your way. But you have to do all this with patience. You have to go within. You you either have been through this if you're single, but if you're in a relationship, you're going through this right now. There might be children involved, there might be legal stuff that, that's holding you back. You might have a lot of like Let's get one more card. Let's clarify everything. Like, what is it that we're looking for the um, for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? What are we looking for for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Right? Yeah, you, you're, you're on, you're on, you're taking off the blindfolds because you got the two of swords in reverse. Usually, in in upright, she's blindfolded. She's confused. Doesn't know what the hell she's doing. But or he, um, but you're taking off the blindfolds. You're ready to like see the truth yeah you're this is all about wanting to see the truth there's secrets that are being revealed i don't know what's going on with you cancer scorpio Pisces, but there's some shit there's some shit you got the most craziest spread i've ever seen like let's see just give me like a couple more cards for them cancer scorpio pisces like specifically what what um so you, if if this resonates with you, you know what I'm talking about when I say that there's secrets and you're not getting rest and and uh, and um, everything that's been happening, you're not um you're not feeling like somebody's like with a younger energy. You gotta communicate. This is a communication card for me. The Page of Swords. It's a communication card. Well, it's a it is a communication card, but you're not communi. They're not communicating. Somebody's like holding secrets. Somebody's not speaking their truth. Somebody is 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 confusing someone. So you need to go, or they need to. Some whoever's watching this, you need to go within and like sit with self. And the answers that you seek are within within you. The high priestess is the intuitive card. So you got all the answers. And I'm hearing like. Really like sit down and and think about what you want because somebody is kind of kind of pulling the wool over your your head a little bit. They're kind of like I don't know. They're kind of a little bit leading you on. You know what I'm saying? But like if you're single, if you get through all that heartbreak and all the stuff that you've been through, and you really really sit and you meditate for a while, you get some rest, you heal, you'll be able to get to your Ace of Pentacles. You'll get the 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 dream. The dream guy, girl, wherever you want. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. Like I said, all you got to do is put in some work on yourself. Work on yourself, man. Work on yourself. Stop focusing on, on, on the stupid things. This is the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Nine. The Nine of Pentacles is wish, like to me, is like wish fulfillment, like fulfillment. Like you got through something, you went through a cycle. So if you're single, you went through this cycle. And and now if you just like give a little time and you go within, you get some rest, take some rest. You're not resting and you go within, you will get to the, to the nine of pentacles where you want to be. So yeah, I, and if you're in a relationship, you're going through it. There's a tower moment. You're afraid of breaking someone's heart, but still you're working hard trying to get to this point and once you get to this point and you really, really get some rest and you stop having these sleepless nights or whatever you're thinking about and whoever's holding secrets for you, maybe somebody's cheating or something and you know it, 
just sit them down and like just have open communication man like get your get your sword ready be the queen of sword get your sword ready stand in your power and be like yo look this is i i know what's going on like if that's the case or if it's like look we're not gonna work no more i don't want to be with you no more and then if you're single but like either way whoever it is as long as you do the right thing by following your intuition and communicating correctly at the end of the day you're gonna get what you want out of life but ain't that the way it works right but these cards speak the truth and that's the way it works in real life but these cards are telling you that in real life right now so for all my cancer scorpions and pisces um it's telling you to do some inner work sit with self trust your intuition you know the answers already stop questioning yourself stop going back and forth and having being all up in your head you need to rest you need to like have open communication so that this way you can experience the joys of life and it's time for you to just experience those things and stop holding it back somebody is obviously not treating you right or something's going on so you got to look within trust your intuition man that shouldn't look your intuition is always on point trust me when i tell you like pay attention to your dreams pay attention to numbers then look up the angel number because those things are very important that could be your angels giving you messages so it can help you move forward you just sit there and you meditate for 10 minutes and ask angel spirit guides what do i need to know can you please reveal the truth to me can you please tell me what i need to know can you help me let go of I'd be seeing things just flowing around. But um, anyway, um, not in a scary way. Like, it's very beautiful. I feel very relaxed and tranquil right now. I did a whole meditation on letting go, and I suggest you do the same thing. Release those energies that no longer serve you. But um, anyway, guys, please just... Um, if, if this this doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you, but it's for somebody out there. So you need to like go deep within. You're worth it. You're worth more. You're an empress. You're a goddess. Like you're a god. Like not You're not God. But you are a part of God. You are one with the divine. You are. We are all one. So go within, you know. Find out the truth. Don't be afraid. Like, it's time for transforming. Let it go. Let go. Anyway, um, I hope that helps somebody. I hope it resonates with somebody. Good luck to you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.